YouTube, YouTube, what it do, what it do. Welcome back to the channel where every night is a game night. It's the big homie of the neighborhood, the OG of the slasher gang, your boy, Champ Freeze, back in the building. Hey, yo, huge shout out to the homie Melvin Frazier and the other homie Jarrell Martin. We linked up, took over the neighborhood. And before we get into that, I want to say huge, 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 huge shout out to all my subscribers. Um, you guys have been showing a lot of love to the channel. I truly appreciate it. You know, I'm taking this YouTube thing serious. And you guys have been backing it, and I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to do the first giveaway for the channel. So I need everybody to hit that notification bell because I'm trying to give everyone a fair chance. The giveaway, I'm doing it either during a live stream or I'm going to give you a particular video to comment underneath and I'll pick the winner that way. But comment underneath this video letting me know which way you prefer. Do you prefer me do the giveaway during a live stream or do you prefer me doing the giveaway through you guys commenting underneath a certain video? Let me know in the comment section in this video how you guys want it done. So the funny thing about this first game that we're playing, right, is that after we all linked up in the squad, you know, we was looking around the around the park seeing, you know, where we're going to step on and who we're going to drop off. And it just so happened, these dudes, they had the highest win streak in the park. So of course, what we're going to do, we step on and we show them how real ballers do. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, you got a little goal teaming up with the NBA? What you think going to happen? Shit, man, everybody getting dropped off. You got to get these, you got to get it. It's a body after a body. You just pull out the body bags, get the cemetery ready, get the graves ready, get, dig them up, throw them in there, toss them out. <laughs> you know you got to toss out the trash and you know I stay with a bag ready. You know what I mean? But anyways, once again, shout out to the homies, Jarrell Martin and Melvin Frazier. Check out their highlights on YouTube. Check out their games. Uh, Melvin is on um, Orlando Magic. Jarrell Martin is on the Grizzlies. Check them out. You know what I mean? Anyways. But on another note, I need everybody, everybody that mess with my channel, that mess with me, that loves my build, the dunks I put on, the dribble moves I put on, being the only big man that I've seen with a handle. You know what I'm saying? When I play against people, like, even if I lose a game and I'm going to get some tryhards or a bunch of elites and that got like 2,000 wins and like 100 losses, whatever it may be, and then if I may lose that game or I may win that game, like, they show that respect to my play. You know what I mean? They show that respect to me. They, always, they, they say, like, well, bro, like, I can't lie. Like, you nice with your dudes. So I've never seen a pure athletic move like that. I've never seen a pure athletic play like that. Like, you really know how to use that dude and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, you know, I got videos where I'm dropping off 22 buckets on people. I got videos where I'm playing the point guard role and making it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? I feel as a pure athletic, I'm very versatile. The only thing I can do is shoot, unless it's probably like a little mid-range, little 12 footer or something like that. You know what I'm saying? A little 10 footer or something. You know, I could hit those. But I ain't really attempting that until I hit like a 99. You know what I mean? But anyways, I need everybody to hit up Mike Wang, hit up Ronnie, hit up the 2K devs, and let these people know that I need a logo over my head. I need that YouTube logo over my head. You know what I mean? I feel I'm deserving of it. I mean, the subscribers ain't up there with other YouTubers. You know, I'm still fresh in the game. I just started, I really just started taking YouTube seriously, as some of you know, um, like a month before 2K19 dropped. You know what I'm saying? So, Again, and that's why I say again, like, I, I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. We're getting ready to do that first giveaway. I got to keep reminding you guys that I hit that push notification bell because I want everybody to have a fair chance. We're going we to do that giveaway. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I want everybody, you know what I mean? Like, and, and I want everybody to hit up Wang and, and Ronnie and let them know, like, yo, you guys need to check out Champ Freeze Game Night. Check them out on YouTube. You know, he's pretty dope. Like, I'm just saying, not to toot my own horn, but there's people that, you know what I mean? Like, they tell me this all the time. Like, yo, bro, like, you pretty nice with your dude. You know, and so, I, I just want that support. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know I'm just saying? I got videos where I'm dropping 22 points on people, you know? 22 points, a pure athletic. 
You know what I mean? Where I'm bringing up the ball, mixing them up, making my way to the rim, going coast to coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You don't see things like that from a pure athletic. So I just feel that, you know, I need that, that, that recognition, you could say. Well, truth said, I really don't need that recognition from them, but it would be nice, you know, in a sense. It would be nice to be, to be recognized by, by the devs that, you know, this dude, he's official. He's official tissue, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it is what it is. But anyways, on another note, let's talk about 2K in a hole, right? Do you guys feel that 2K19 is the best 2K19? I mean, the best, <laughs> the best 2K19, the best 2K so far. You know, um, I don't know if you guys play 2K14, but that was a really good 2K, 2K14, 2K15. Really right? But let me tell you what 2K19 has over all of these two games. Right? This ties in with social media in a sense that it's more interactive. You see here I'm playing with NBA players, you know, and there's people that get hyped to play with me knowing I'm a YouTuber. There's people that get hyped to play with other YouTubers. And I feel that's why I speak of the logo, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it brings enjoyment to certain people to be able to play with these people and just to be in the park with them and things like that. It brings some type of joy to them, you know, and I feel that right there is a huge difference. I know in uh, 2K18, they had players, you know, NBA players and things like that playing there, but you didn't really see that too often, you know, and, um, and, and I feel the logos help a great deal and like I said, it brings it brings some excitement to the game when you enter a park and you see somebody with a logo. It's like you want to either play with them or you, you want to compete against them. You know what I'm saying? You want to drop them off to say, hey, well, I beat that YouTuber. Or, hey, well, I beat that NBA player. Or, I beat that celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like, Or you want to say, like, yo, I was dropping off people with, with this celebrity or this M or whatever the case may be. Like, you know what I mean? But it brings a certain excitement to the game. So, I would say 2K19, despite the grind, and the grind is not as bad as 2K18. Like, for the people that's complaining about the grind in 2K19, the grind is nowhere as bad as 2K18. That was the worst grind you would ever have. Like, that was the worst. You know what I mean? 2K19, they kind of toned it down. They made the grind a bit difficult, but they still toned it down. Which was good. You know? it's, it's, it's manageable. It's doable. You know what I'm saying? But on that, I think I'm gonna get up out of here and let you guys enjoy the rest of the clip. There's not that much left, you know. Just enjoy it. Have a good time. I want everybody to stay positive. You know what I mean? Continue to work on your builds. Stick with one build if you want to master your build. If you want to master your archetype, stick with one archetype, guys. Stick with one. You know what I'm saying? People ask me, like, people that I know personally that see me, they're like, yo, how you a 94 already? I'm like, yo, bro, I could have been like a 97 right now. <laughs> you know, I could have been a 97 right now if I stopped. If I didn't stop playing my career, I, I still play my career. Don't get it twisted. But I feel, I think after I hit a 92, I think I was double barred on a 92. And I think I did that second bar, like half of that second bar in the park and rec. And then ever since then, I've been mainly doing park and rec. I hardly did my career after that. You know, like, like it's rare that I do my career now. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's where the grind really is. Like, you really have to grind your player out in my career. Everybody wants to go to the park and to rec and program and things like that because it's competitive. It's more fun. It's fun because it's competitive. You're actually playing against other builds that, you know, like, 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 you, but, but you see, my thing is you have to go to my career because my career is where you're supposed to master your build, master your archetype. You master that player and then you go on to the next level, which is going to the park and dropping off people. You know what I'm saying? But I understand it gets boring, it gets frustrating, and you don't want to do it. But anyways, stick with your build, stick with your archetype. On that note, I'm up out of here. 
It's your boy Champ Freeze. Remember, every night is a game night.